In the last episode of No Contraband Profile, I sold my shadow assassin leggings and boots and bought myself necromancer leggings and boots. I grinded a lot of money and was able to buy myself a baby yeti pet, which helps out a lot with keeping me alive in dungeons. So if you're at all new to this channel whatsoever, then leave me a like and subscribe and let's get on with the video. Check out my Badline Cosmetics, which is my cape and bandana. Link in the description for 10% off. So I quickly just want to uh, address some comments that I got in last episode regarding why I got Baby Yeti Pet. Since a lot of people ask me why I got Baby Yeti Pet instead of Blue Whale Pet, to be honest, I feel like it's a personal preference. I feel like I can survive better with Baby Yeti as it's constantly giving me defense as opposed to Blue Whale constantly giving me regen. And defense is more reliable, especially on my ping. Plus, you need a legendary rarity of Blue Whale, but you only need an epic rarity of Baby Yeti. And since they're both fishing pets, Baby Yeti is going to be much easier to level up. Another reason that one of the perks for Blue Whale is all potions heal you. So this will require me to drink a potion inside of dungeons, which I think is a big waste as the dungeons I'm doing right now, I don't really need to drink potions so it'll just be waste of money and also another thing people said is that because i'm a mage i don't have strength when bizarre talismans actually give strength so yeah just addressing those things and just like you to know that i prefer using baby yeti i use baby yeti on my main with full storm and hype and i feel like i can survive better than using blue whale so yeah that's the reason. All right, I'm officially gone mad. Yeah, I have done under the layer <laughs> without basket of seeds. Look at this, it's nearly grew. But in 20 minutes, there is a carrot contest. So I want to enter that. I've got enough. Let me go to hub really quick. I've got enough silver medals to actually get a carrot hoe. There we go. Just got over a stack of tickets as well. Let's go and trade in four silvers for the gold and let's get a mathematical hoe. And let's make this a carrot hoe. Oh yeah, I've got to get replenish. Ah, that's like a mill. Let's turn this officially into a carrot hoe. There we go. What's the next one? Is it four stacks? And then six, yeah, there we go. Four stacks of these, 22K each, not bad. I'm gonna need to buy more of these though, so. 21 tickets here we go nice nice tier two carrot hill i haven't even entered the carrot contest to be honest with you so i don't even have one carrot thing I'm really running out on money right now i have 4.1 mil replenish how much are them books 1.1 mil oh my god here we go we've got replenish on that and then i need a farming yeah harvesting six and then one two three four five farming for dummies harvesting six and then let's just put all these on because this is going to be my main probably main source of coins when i do well for farming i'm gonna make multiple carrot layers i'm gonna need to get this but i'm not mining 25 yet to see what i am almost 20 so i might have to just buy a mineral set really quick and just pop it on and go mine for a little bit and unlock that but yeah i really need to do some money grinding I've got three mil left. I need to buy a cookie and a god pot. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy the cookie now so I can get the bits. Plus, oh, plus this over here. There is one hour and 15 minutes left until Paul. So Kismet feathers are probably gonna go up on auction. So they might be a little bit extra than we normally sell them for. All right, Turbo Carrot 2. I think I can get Turbo Carrot 3. So I'm probably definitely going to be able to get silver in carrots. So then I can put table carrot 5 on it. But for now I've got 3. Um, Yeah, just basically now. I'm going to wait for this contest. The reason I made carrot farm is because I just want to do more contests and get more XP. My farm level right now is 23. I want to... If I farm these two, I can probably get to 24 which I'm going to do. I might do the potatoes now and then do the carrots for the contest. But money back in there. That's so sad. We just went from 4 mil to 300k. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, there we go. 
silver in carrot i was a lot off gold but let me sell these how much can i put them all up for 373k almost 400k in 20 minutes which is pretty bad to be honest that'd only be 1.2 mil an hour so yeah i want to work on getting more farmer levels i did just get 200k xp 220k xp i can collect my minions where are they oh over here. i don't have much in them but i did put some diamond spreading in them honestly it doesn't give that much xp all right minions just give us like 20k xp but yeah it, that's the carry farm done now i've got two farms that i can farm get farming levels i do want to level up farming a lot because it's going to become one of my main money sources so i do want to at least get farming 40 or something like that not asap but casually okay so basically i'm with a lot of the guilds right now but spooky festival is in one hour and two minutes that means spooky fishing is in two minutes because it starts an hour before and then it lasts for an hour after so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna do some spooky fishing for a bit see if i can get any money also i just walked in to here and i got the spider talisman <laughs> i i just killed the broodmother what bait am i using right now i need to get some spooky bait spooky bait 15 percent chance to catch spooky creatures and i'm gonna do this really quick turn off player trading because i forgot to nick <laughs> yay so yeah i'm gonna do a bit of spooky fishing right now since i only have the squid hat angler chest plate angler leggings squid boots i'm gonna buy the salmon set so this is 35k for the helmet leggings at 85k chest blade 119k and boots at 150k which of course i don't have enough money on me it doesn't matter anyway because the the boots have the same sea creature chance as the squid boots but yeah um when we're in this full set grant the wearer with the ability burst forward when sneaking in water what is that um i don't have the full set why did i just try that anyway all right so spooky has literally just finished and i've got a few things to do i i got a lucky hoof which is actually decent they, they only go for like 70k on auction look how bad that is but i was fishing i want to get some of the new things like candy artifact but i really actually want this but that's way too expensive candy relic but i'll just go with the candy artifact for now bat artifact have i got the oh wait bat ring so we need 64 green candies there we go i got it now i can upgrade the bat talisman to the bat ring and then 64 purple candy how much is that 533 there we go and now i've got a legendary talisman the first legendary talisman so yeah nice i'm gonna go reforge just really quick there we go bizarre put it in there and okay so all right i've just changed this lucky hoof to bazaar too how much are the bat talismans like the bat ones like these ones the bat person ones um how much is uncommon three mil jesus christ no nope. i'm just gonna take one of these common ones thank you very much um there we go bizarre and i'm gonna change this candy talisman and get the purple one i need the blue one first though don't i so that's 64 um gonna get the blue one and now i need 32 there we go and i got an epic talisman nice we're getting nice upgrades and now last one i'm gonna where is it this one intimidation artifact what do i need now i need 100 green candy there we go gonna get the green one then is it just this one now a hundred purple candy i don't think i've got enough in my purse right now all right there we go and let's get this one nice <laughs> that one didn't even keep the reforge what a scam all right so spooky fishing is now over i did in fact get 27 werewolf skin so let's see how much i can sell this for 
1.4 mil, not bad honestly. And considering we got another mil before, but I wasted it. Around 2.5 mil. I mean, I could have got more by doing other things, but I'm almost fishing 20 and I was fishing 18 when I started, so almost two levels gained. So yeah. All right, so I think um, I have enough money. I went and grinded eyes yesterday. I got five of them. Um, so carrots and pork chop two from the pigs okay five mil in the bank i think that's enough to get chest plates if i get the job so now i can go into dungeons um paul is mayor so basically dungeon reward chest are 20 percent cheaper gain 10 percent bonus score on dungeon runs so that means you can just completely skip trap room and blessings are 25 percent stronger so we're gonna be a lot more stronger as well but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do some dungeons for a bit because I need to take advantage of Paul while he is mayor. So yeah, I'll clip if I get anything good. <gasps> oh my god, let's go! Let's actually go! Chest plate! Shadows has some chest plate, let's go! <laughs> oh my god, let's go! <laughs> Let's actually go. I'm so <laughs> I'm gassed. I'm actually gassed. What? Let's actually go. I'm putting this straight up because I don't need this. That's 20 mil profit. <gasps> ah. Wait, so that was like almost 4.8 mil in the chest. Let's see how much it is. There's so many chest plates on auction. I think the lowest one is 23 mil. Yeah, the lowest right here is 23.9 mil. That's almost 20 mil profit. Let's go. I'm going to put it up for two days. Hopefully that sells. Wait, I need money. <laughs> I'm gassed. If, if that sells, <gasps> that sells, we're going to have over 30 mil. Yo, look how many runs I've done. I'm 128 floor fives. Let's I got the chest plates on my 128th run. I'm gonna go today, probably all the way to 150 and get that liver dagger because that's that sells for almost it sells for like six mil right now. So that's another like free six mil. But I, I'm gassed. I really am. Hey, there we go. Nice. 150 livered runs. Oh, there's a bit of profit in that one. I'm gonna get this one. It's a bit of profit. And let's see if I can claim it in here. Nice. Claim it. There we go. Oh, rip. We didn't get any stars on it. Oh, free liver dagger. Easy pog. <laughs> now we just got a legion book. So how much are they right now? 6.1. I know they go up after Paul, but I don't really care. Here we go. So the chest plate did sell. I've got 24 million. Oh, well, basically 25 million now to collect. Here we go. The Shadow Assassin chest plate. It's sold. Let's put that in there. 35 mil. And then when the sword sells, it's going to be 41 mil. Hey, yo, look. It's sold already. It's literally been like two minutes. I mean, mine was the lowest on auction. Hey, you love YouTube, right? Shh. Oh yeah, <laughs> here we go, 41 mil in the bank, let's go. I don't know what to do now, I think. Well, I'm halfway to getting basically, well, not halfway, but 40% of the way to getting a Midas staff. I don't know whether to just sell this. That'll give me around seven to eight mil, and then I'd have 50 mil, and then I'd have to get another 50 mil somehow, get a max out Midas staff, because that's the next thing I wanna get. Or I just get a bunch of talismans. I don't know what to do. I think it's better to just get the Midas staff, but that's going to be a lot of money grinding. A lot. Like,